Hey, welcome back to another fish room video. Fish room tour video for August. And a lot of stuff has happened so far. Pretty busy month, so I've had trouble getting in here and being able to do a lot of the stuff I wanted to do, but either way, it'll get done. Um, new fish in the fish room. Just got these actually the other day, maybe about a week ago. I got a group of ruby reds. So, let's see if we can see them. That's the male right there. No uh, breeding activity yet, but they've only been in the tank for about a week. Hopefully he'll come out. If I see him come out, I'll turn around and get a, a good shot of him. But four females in here and the male. An albino pleco in there, bristle nose. But that's about it. I still got my albino, Curbenza, still doing it. Tank's real dirty, but I'm pretty sure they are just about to spawn. As you can see, the female there, all plump and red. And I caught all the babies out except for one. As you can see, they're not a fan of him being in there, so I gotta go back in there and get them. But they're doing really well. Really nice color. And as you can we'll see as we get into the video i got away from the rams i sold all the rams except for my gold rams down here and i only didn't sell them because the male developed popeye so when he turns when he does really nice fish though uh, his eyes popped out i'm not sure how you fix that or if it ever will be fixed but i couldn't i wasn't able to sell them just because of that issue. So when they do come around, I'll show you. Maybe I'll come from the side. But yeah, so not good, but they're still breeding. Yeah, you see the eye there, it's popped out and I don't think it's gonna get healed, but beautiful fish either way. The female's getting ready to breed. She's got a big pink belly. So hopefully they breed right now, or soon, we get some babies out of them, and I can replace that male in the next year or so. Um, over here I got my albino curbenzas. These are the babies. I can sit down and focus. So, got a few babies. I got a few that look to be the normal, <clears throat> the normal ones. One of those rainbow ones. And then a bunch that are albino. So as you can see that one right there looks albino. But it's kind of funny that they're kind of split gene. Over here I got my jewel cichlids. I got a whole bunch of babies in there. I have a really nice Curbenzis in there. I picked him out of the group. My uh gonna be setting up another tank and he's gonna be that breeding male. As you can see he's got a bunch of color on those fins he's beautiful so he's in there with that with them right now so i got about maybe 15 to 20 jewel cichlids that i'll eventually sell if you want one of those send me a message they're getting pretty big getting up to about an inch inch and a quarter and right into the next tank i got a whole bunch of paradise cichlids these are a half cichlid um these are the breeders those are the females we got a bunch holding males in there when we get there i'll show you the male but these are their babies i got about 30 to 40 in there they're getting pretty big so in the next few weeks i'll put, be putting them in a grow out tank so but they're putting on some size pretty quickly they've only been around for a month and they're getting pretty big for this 10 gallon over here i got my bristle nose just a male and a female, still no breeding. I'm not any good at it, but I'll figure it out. And I just have an OB male that I'm going to be eventually getting females for. Just gotta find the nice ones. There's a lot, there's a few in my area, but nothing nice enough where, oops, that I'd like to breed with him. Cause he's, if he gets out, he's, he's gorgeous. So let's see. He's very skittish. I don't know why. Maybe he just doesn't like the tank. Doesn't like to be alone. 
but he's gorgeous. So if I see him swimming around, I'll just turn the camera to him. And since we're down here, I will show you these guys. So this is a 55 gallon. And as you can see, they've been breeding. So these are my paradise haps. I got two females right now, that one, that one right there, and that one as well that are holding babies. They're doing really well. Just the other day, and then my male's in here. Don't know why he's hiding. He's normally not very shy, but he's beautiful. If you go and look at my other videos, I have a video of these guys breeding yesterday and they are beautiful. He's stunning, especially when he starts to get that breeding color. So I'll keep an eye out as we're doing the tour. If he comes out, I will show you. But if not, at the end of the video, I'll go in there and take all these guys out so you can see them. And these are my albino Arika Reds. Let me zoom out. So I got one holding, you can see her right at the top there. She's more yellow than the rest of them. And my male, every time I do a video, he's always in here. And for whatever reason, they're not shy. But when I get the camera out, they get shy. At the end of the video, if I don't see them, I'll pull them all out. But these guys right here, these are my peacock cichlids. Kind of like a dragon. Beautiful male. He's stunning. Always has that color. He's got one, one that just bred today. You can see her thing is down. And she's holding on to those babies. They've been breeding all day today. But they are stunning. I usually do one male with four females. And eventually once all the babies grow, I'll add some more. And maybe make more groups. Maybe even a bigger group. But they're doing really well. Breeding like crazy. Up top, I got some of their babies up here. I just actually put them in yesterday. And you can see how new they are. They're, they're real nervous. Very skittish. I think I got about 50 in here let's see if i can zoom in on them they're they're really young but they're doing really well i had them in a breeder box that was attached to that 55 gallon and just gonna start growing them out so I'm very impressed with them so far right here eventually i'm gonna have some babies so out of these guys oh there's the male oops yeah, he's a stunner especially in his breeding colors. So once these guys are ready to spit out their babies, I'll throw them in this 20 gallon. Just has one Cabenzas in there right now. She's always hiding. Just so I have a fish in there and I can start feeding, get it cycled or continue to have it cycled. Just a Java moss or a Christmas moss, one of the two in there. And we'll go over to the baby rack. So in this one, I have a whole bunch of albino crebenzas. In this batch I have a crazy ton of albinos. So not like the first one where it was main a few albinos and just a few normal ones. So you can still see I got a couple of normal ones in here. They're just too small right now. It won't focus but I probably have about 50 in here and in the next few weeks I'll move them to a bigger tank because they're about to outgrow it. Right beside, I got some albino Arika Reds. These are the babies. Let's see if they'll focus. No, it won't. Hmm. Focus. But I got about maybe 30 or 40 out of this guy. See, oh, here's the male. He's a stunner. Albino Arika Red. So I got a, a few babies of them. And a bristle nose pleco right there. That's a male. You can see the bristles on top. That'll focus. I gotta get better at this. Oh yeah, so those are their babies. I got another tank of them as well. This is the big batch. About 30 or 40. Right next door, I got my um, dragon blood or strawberries. But as you can see, I got a whole bunch of yellow ones, which is kind of crazy. You can see all the yellows. And they're eager to eat, I already fed them, but they're, they love to eat. As you can see, this guy is orange. And all the females are orange. This is my third batch of them. Actually, not even my third, maybe fourth or fifth. And I got a whole bunch of yellow ones. As you can see, you can pick them out there. 
as you can see them, a whole bunch of yellows. Don't know why, but I'm really impressed. I'm actually really curious to see how they'll look. Uh, right next door, this is my first batch of, of albino Arica Reds. Just 10 of them in there, but they're uh, my biggest one of them. And yeah, they're doing really well. So I'm really impressed. Right below in the 30 gallon, <clears throat> normally where I grow out my fry. This is the first three batches of my uh, strawberry or my dragons. And you can see they're the normal color. They match the parents. And they're actually starting to get pretty big. So they're about three or four months old getting big in there. I'm just starting to feed them pellets so they're just big enough to start eating those pellets away from the flakes and uh, the baby food. But I'm very, really impressed. And I've done a good job of selling them off microbenzis. I only have a few left. So again, if you're interested, I've got a few, some males, some females. You can see them down there. So if you're interested, I got some. And then right in here, I have my albino bristlenose breeding group. So I moved them to their own tank and I'm trying to see if I can get some breeding activity. It's a little cloudy in there because they like to stir everything up. But I got two males and I think four or five females. So they're all hard, hard to see just because this piece of wood's out front, but you can see a few on there. But hopefully I get some so I don't have to keep buying them. I can just keep throwing them in different tanks. That's the purpose for that. But that's the room. A lot going on. Again, hopefully I can get some more stuff going on over there once I take everything out. Because I have a guy that I import all these from, all my breeders. And I'm looking to get a few more. So... Hopefully in the next week or so I can get all that stuff cleared away, put another 55 gallon in, and uh, go back to Mississauga, a few hours away from my, from where I am, and get some more uh, peacocks, or haps, whatever one I prefer to go with. And a little operation going so far. Let's see if we can get this guy out, because he's a stunner. And I will do that for you, just so you can see him. I hate watching videos and not being able to see what they say. So I'm going to help you guys out. I'm not going to catch them, but I will get them out of here. Come on, you please get out. There you are. You can see him. No, we'll go back in. Yeah, he's a stunner. A little skittish. He's still getting used to the tank, but as you can see, yeah, he's very, he's a super red, ruby red. There's the pleco. <clears throat> the camera and the light doesn't do him justice. Yeah, he's beautiful. Whoops. But I'm hoping to have some breeding activity out of them soon. But like I said, they're only been in there for about a week. So I am not in no rush. But that's the tanks. That's the setup I got going so far. Still got 19 tanks. Over here, I'm going to take out this one. And I'm going to add a few more tanks. I think about two, maybe three can fit in there, 10 gallons or 20. Just so I have, because I got too many babies on the go. And slowly just add in more 30 gallons. And they will all go on here. So that's the tank so far, or the tr really the trailer and the setup. Thanks for watching. And any questions, don't be afraid to comment. And thanks. I'll see you in the next video.